Introducing the nominees for San Diego County Teacher of the Year, Hilda Martinez, San Diego. What my position allows me to do is, is create that um, opportunity to get a second and a triple dose of a lesson. Um, super fine-tuned to the students' strengths and needs. Um, we always want to honor what they do know and use that to our advantage, but it's done in a very small group, very systematic way. Um, and more often than not, the kids just thrive. They really just need um, additional learning opportunities. Ms. Martinez is my favorite teacher because she teaches us reading. Ms. Martinez, I want to thank you because you're helping me read better and be good at things. Shortly after I started teaching, I went for my master's and then I was encouraged to get National Board certified. So I went and did that and um, it just continued to open up so much knowledge. Um, on how to better improve my teaching so that I can really impact learning for our students. Um, I worked in, I've always worked in inner city schools, and so I know lots of adversity that students come with. And when I continue to grow, it just continues to help me, you know, push their learning further. Um, and I love, I love inner city. It, it's who I am. I, I always say I am the face of an EL. I'm the face of a single mom. She does exciting stuff because um, we like to read with her. It really is humbling. I think as a child, my mom always instilled in, in me how blessed and lucky we were. She always used the word lucky. You're so lucky. And, and she was an English learner herself. And she would say, you're so lucky to go to school. I wish I got to go to school in Mexico. You're so lucky that every day you get to go and listen to teachers share their knowledge with you. Um, and so we always saw school as a blessing. We always saw school as, yay, we get to go to school. And we were those kids that were excited to come to school. And that's just what I want to do now for, for my students. I want them to see school as a safe environment. Um, somewhere where they're going to come to get nurtured and fed spiritually and fed intellectually. My parents divorced at a young age and when my mom with her three daughters she was wondering what am I going to do now with three daughters and so she moved us to Mexico and so I actually went to school in Mexico for about six months when I was between eight and nine and I didn't get to go to school every day because it was a very rural village and the teacher would show up whenever he wanted to. It wasn't consistent. It was that one room schoolhouse where everybody was doing the same thing, copying the same problems off the, off, off the chalkboard. Our morning routine was carrying buckets of water to fill this container so that we could have um, our sewage system work. And I moved a lot as a kid. I mean, my parents were always the ones looking for cheaper rent. I was in fifth grade when I, when I met that one teacher that really, that I saw valued me and saw me as a person. And as an adult now, value my adverse situations that I was in because now I, I grew from them and I and I and I turned I took some really tough situations and I made it into something great. Miss Martinez deserves this because she worked as hard as she works as hard as she can with all of these groups. I have such an incredible support. It's all about the village. It really is um, my husband and my daughter who are just so supportive and anything they can do to help me. It starts at home and it starts with my mom who always encouraged us, always made sure that we were fed and ready for school, um, made sure that we were respectful at school and made sure that we were there with a purpose. I think when we really understand that we're all in it to um, grow children into these amazing human beings, everything falls into place. Familiar face to Good Morning San Diego because I've interviewed her before. Uh, Hilda uh, Martinez, good morning, good congratulations. Morning. Thank you so much. And you are a teacher at uh, Zamorano Fine Arts Academy. That's right, in Paradise Hills. Paradise Hills. What was this like for you last night? 
Oh, it's so humbling. I, nobody goes into education to be recognized. You know, we do it for the love and the passion that we have for children. Um, so being a part of something so special last night, being treated, you know, with like a red carpet, it was really, really special. Uh, it was like prom for you all over. Just admit it. It was like my quinceañera. <laughs> hashtag oh, Hilda like quinceañera. <laughs> quinceañera. Even better, you That's got right. all dolled up. Um, how, you know, I got to witness firsthand uh, how unique your teaching style is you have a very special reading program at the elementary school and these kids are responding to you Hilda. They are. They're, they're like little sponges. And I know that um, literacy really is the equalizer. And so I'm going to do whatever I can to make sure that kids have the passion that, that children have for books. Because we know that when they when they are literate, when they're able to be critical thinkers, it just opens up a whole world to them. That's fantastic. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so what